What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Miami Hurricanes Dynasty. So, uh, got the Cal game coming up. It's a road game, and they have a really good running back, which makes me a little nervous. But, uh, why can I edit the CPU uniforms? Let's see. winnable game as long as I can stop their running back who's one of the best running backs in the game. Welcome everyone to Berkeley and California Memorial Stadium where they've been filing in since early this morning ready to support their sturdy Golden Bears. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. The Golden Shut Bears will put total weather to crank us up. He'll start the return inside his five. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. The Hurricane offense makes its way onto the field to start this game. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You got to start fast. You got to have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Well, Jet Sweep pass. Makes it past the marker. And the explosive Beautiful. play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. And the Hurricanes moving quickly to the line. Off play action on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Restrepo. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. We knew coming in that they wanted to push the ball down the field, and they waste no time getting at it. And I love that, man. I love being aggressive early, setting a tone, sending a message to my team. Listen, we're going to attack down the field. You better be ready for it. This offense comes out, gets the big completion way down the middle of the field. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Snags it. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. And because the receiver was able to drive back to the QB on that curl route against man coverage, he was able to create a little bit of separation between him and the defender, and that was a big key in getting that first down. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. The big fellas coming out in the goal line defense. They'll try to pound their way in. And he's going to take it to the house. Go. Touchdown, Miami! Mono y mano, the offensive line gets it done. Driving the defense back, creating an easy lane for that running back. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. A 69-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Out of the 
the end zone. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken the knee in the end zone. The Golden Bears offense headed on to the field. Our first look at them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, and they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. Got it in the middle, it's Matthews. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. When you run your slant route and it's against man to man, one thing you know you're going to get is hit. When that wide receiver catches the football, slants don't open up wide open. Linebackers are going to be there, safeties are going to be there, so you got to be able to take that hit and hold on to that football. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Works the middle of the field. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's Restrepo. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top Shit. of that last drive. Oh, man. man, this offense did such a good job on the last drive. I gotta stop Everything trying to do that play. Not didn't make those anymore. mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had that the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. Just got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered double covered man zone that's where he was going with it and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first right back to it they get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks just moving those chains the way frank gore did back in the day frank gore willis mcgahee edron james so many elite backs in miami history Finding that guy that you can give the ball to that's reliable and Damn important it. part of the Kings uh, And complete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic and fortunate to get it back. Use your brain, dude. And here throws. comes the offense on second down. Wants to throw, it's Ward. Unloads to the wide the hell out. Are you and then Stop complete, and he's down, lucky man. to get that one back. Oh. Almost intercepted. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. Fires left. Makes the grab. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's... Beautiful blocking, good job, to boys. Touchdown, Hurricane! You just simply can't say enough about this guy and what he has meant to this offense. Big time players make big plays in big games. He has shown up each and every week. That's his 15th rushing score on the season. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that's a 60 yard touchdown drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field to save it.
this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively, they're this gonna unit, go. they have been slow and after struggling. No they goes. need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you... Fires the pass. Intercepted. Well, they didn't let him get loose for a big return, but he still made the big play, and they'll take over at the 17. I tell you what, it puts you in a tough position when you're backed up inside your own 20 trying to come out. But when you're a defense and you can this force night, a turnover, you and you already set your life. offense up in scoring position, they are going to be extremely happy, and that offensive coordinator is going to look extremely smart. To the air on first down. He makes a grab. Can't. Cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. We reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. They largely dominated this first quarter, as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. On the ground. And he takes it for the score. Touchdown, K. No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top 10 offense. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Top 15 teams colliding today in a huge matchup, and it's now a final. Ohio State found a way to pick up the W, and a win is a win. But this was not the type of convincing victory they've gotten used to in Columbus. No cupcakes this week, fellas. This top 15 battle was much anticipated, and at least one side can say it's a game they'll savor for some time. Yeah, how about that? Sounds like they had a good ball game there, Kevin. Thanks for the update. Turns it on down the left side. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Ott. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. And the Golden Bears head it quickly to the line. Back to the ground with the running back. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Golden Bears! It's all right. Not a big deal. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect. Why you can I tell they're paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now. It's supposed to be a quick throw. Now they're going to put it again on second down. Dropping back. It's Ward. Oh, almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Well, they're leading by two possessions offensively, and that could have been a game-changing play right there. That's a throw the quarterback would like to have back. He's very lucky that was not intercepted. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete to the left. 
And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to... And that ball is picked off. Uh, He'll try to take I it back. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, yeah, that's what can happen. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Breaks on the front. Uh, makes the interception. Uh, Everybody on defense. We turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. Uh, I just can't get he was looking for more running room, room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Off the play fake on first. Yes, oh, the hell? Oh, that is going No real chance oh, on the yeah, return, but they've got it at the 34. Oh, yeah. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. The run from the shotgun. Quit missing. Tackling is just a bitch in this game. It's so hard. Second and one. The Golden Bears in the hurry up. My friends, what it just is. It's ridiculous. It's so difficult. Power football with the run. They finally make the stop at the big line. He's playing it up with no sticks for the first down. And the Golden Bears have pushed it inside the 20. He's got it on the right. I'm just not good enough. Touchdown, Golden Bears! I just gave up a big lead. Real man and just made the house call. And these offenses are just putting up numbers. They have so much speed in so many positions. We'll spread the ball now. It's just, Why am I getting it's so hard to stop defense? You should just try to hold on and shut them down in the red zone. Head out of your ass and, and we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside the 15. He's brought down after a good return, gets it out to the 31. The points are a must here. Here comes the hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That, that's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you know, they'll my, learn how to handle these mistakes. And move my, uh... To the air, it's Ward. Looking to scramble. He'll let it go down the right side. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. This offense doing business in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. It's complete! He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Just like that, a hat trick of completions, and they're on the doorstep. Three plays, three beautifully executed plays. This offense is in a really good rhythm. This defense better change something quickly because this has been weight. Touchdown, Miami! And they take it in for six more points. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum, nice execution of the drive by that offense. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. These two defenses have had their head spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to 
to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Ball still spotted at the 34. It's second and 10. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Wide out in motion. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in silence. On third and long, try to convert through the air. This time it's complete. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And, of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. This offense has been running up and down the field. And here, the and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Hurricane! Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. And they stay on target with the extra point of 35 to 21. So they got the touchdown. Now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Looking to pass. It's Rodgers. He's got his man. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just... And the pass is intercepted! And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. And we know turnover margin is a huge part of winning ball games. Interception number two... His quarterback has to do a better job taking care of the football. Don't force it. Take the high completion percentage stuff. Don't always try to go for the big play. God, get the passes. You the ball the out of your hands down down faster, nine. Boy. Come on now. I'm impressed with this defense, man, it's because that QB get is out of your fast. Do you see how fast that defender was able to get to him and force the right there. Over. Using his legs to buy some time. God, the pass is yeah, incomplete and the clock will stop with five this? seconds left. Why do I do this? Really why nice do I do job this? by the defense. Understand that QB why starts to roll up to his right. 
I gotta continue to play the I've deep pass down the field. I can't just run up and try to go tackle. Nice coverage down the field, which led to the incompletion. I've got to stop being my own worst enemy. That's going to wrap up. up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters today from there in Berkeley. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Ah, I the that Jimmy's and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside California Memorial Stadium. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin. The Canes will kick it off to start the second half. Thankfully, their defense is not giving them much resistance. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Those two first half turnovers really damaging in the primary reason they find themselves trailing to start the third quarter. And this is an offense that prides themselves on taking care of the football and then having explosive plays. You know they're playing angry right now. They're mad. They know they're the reason why they're down in this game. So I expect them to come out here, lighten it up here at the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and this defense playing fast, playing physical, forcing things into action, forcing those turnovers. They played really well in this first half. And this offense just uh, can't afford really well not to get the first there. down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. On I don't always make the right play. Just what they were the looking ball. for to get this drive rolling. They're out there in the game. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Fires to the big foul. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the back. Makes no sense. They gave him that about all the say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Nobody's He's got there the tight the end. Come on, guys. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. The Golden Bears come to the line in the hurry up. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Lisa. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that we had. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last Why play, heading the first down. Guys are and always, a nice grab with the defender right on him. He's open. down at the 20. It's very annoying. Running back goes in motion. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Grab in the backfield. It's high. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Love the awareness by the defense here. They're trying to get the running back the ball in space, but the defense was expecting it. They had guys in position. They located the football, and they went and gave on them, please. I didn't and he'll anything. take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag oh, down. Oh, Let's oh, see oh, what oh, this oh, is oh. about. That penalty That's moves the ball right. back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Offense gets set for second down. On the move, it's Rodgers. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. A deep tradition of backers who make plays and get after quarterbacks. Ray Lewis could do it all back in the day, just like this guy is. Yeah, and they, they look the same, don't they? They look the part, just big, physical, huge guys, but the speed element always there, always in the backfield making plays. Third down, they got to get it to Neptune. He'll have to launch a rocket. 
And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. So they start this drive from inside their own 20 at the 19-yard line. He's got it. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Live by the blitz, get hit with a chunk play on the blitz, too, especially if you're man up on that dude. And you know what? You lose some battles, especially to receivers like this who are so elite. You're going to lose some of those, but I'm still going to be aggressive. I'm still going to play man. I'm still going to have to bring some blitzes. So I look for this defense to stay aggressive and maybe give that guy a smidge more attention. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. And the incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. He'll take the deep shot. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open. So throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drive. I wasn't exactly trying to throw it out of bounds. Up here. Back to the air one more time. Complete downfield. And he's still running after the move. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. I tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Running back searching for a hole. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. He stopped him at the 31, but not before. He picks up 10 yards on the play. And the Canes have it with a first and 10. The give to the back. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job. Come on, guys. That been and first they down. try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? He's got it. It's a catch along the sideline. Didn't need much, but got enough. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at C. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Oh, and he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Pushing, Touchdown, pushing K. In Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finished it off with an exclamation point, running it in from the 19. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision. Well, he's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quick. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Oh, down already. Good word, bro. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up.
One more quarter to play. It might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. All right, let's come back in half. Hey, back at it to open the quarter with I've this first down play. I've fourth before, but I'm not getting that 21 this time. Back to pass. It's Rodgers. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They're going to sit back in zone. I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. And the Golden Bears will hustle to the line. The secondary walks up on the line showing press coverage. Snagged in the middle. It's Matthews. Tackle is made. All right, I'm going to take a timeout. So he gets here. the first down. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Switching the man defense. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. All right, our guys are the They've got right the defense now. reeling right now with that big play to the 29. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. He'll come out throwing on first down. Right on the money to the outside. Of course they call it. How about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. They keep attacking through the air. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Quick tempo here for the offense. Most offensive coordinators want to be really aggressive on second and short. And I love the quarterback here. He drops back the pass thinking being aggressive. Nothing available. Scramble. Give me an easy first down. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback not telegraphing the throw. And the receiver does a nice job finding the soft spot in the defense. Just settling down, giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. And, man, I tell you what, I just love his instincts. You can tell when the ball's being passed, he sees it, and he breaks on the football. That's why he's in the top ten in interceptions this season. Just such a great feel in the passing game. And you got to be careful when you attack him. They'll come to the line just trying to keep their hope alive on third and goal. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's a phenomenal job getting after the quarterback and getting a hit on him to affect his accuracy because if they didn't get the pressure, that was going to be a touchdown. He had a guy wide open in the end. Ball into the end zone, and it's nope. intercepted. No pick. Or no, no touchdown. And he's wrapped touchdown up that denied. great solid return on the pick. And a nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Right. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. I'm going to blade the clock here because I've really managed to mostly hold their running back in check. I want to keep it that way. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. A little more space. Open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. 
He's now over the century mark with 102 yards rushing. He continues to impress as he leads the nation in rushing. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. They go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go to the ground. Great to have perfect blocking, but you can also make your own. And that's exactly what he does, getting it up to the 36. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. give to the running back that'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48 this guy's been special today coming into this one they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going running the football and he has delivered you've seen the speed the vision his ability to break tackles well over 100 rushing yards in this game and that's why they have a nice lead here late. they'll turn to Martinez and a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down and there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And in a two-possession game, they'll take a knee. Defense can stop it a couple more times. third and short trying to impose their will and move the chains now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34 yard line all business today for this ball club they come out and they get the win and that's all that matters it's not always pretty um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes but at the end of the game jesse you want that w no doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that were going to need to clean up moving forward, but ultimately they were the better team today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Overall, not a not a bad game. Not a bad game aside from the uh, aside from the pick six on the but on the attempted bubble screen, which was an issue. But Bye week going. No commits. Nice. 
Oh man, he was a guy who was going at me pretty hard. That sucks. Dang it, man. Ugh. Stupid Florida. That's annoying. Okay, is there anybody that needs to, I need to schedule a visit, visit for? Ready for visit. scheduled for one. Oh well. Why has this guy not come over yet? I wonder.
that's annoying. It's going to be a really difficult game, probably. Yeah, having to go on the road to Louisville, it's going to be really difficult. scheduled for visits that have not been yet. Like, can I cut out it? Can I get rid of everybody on the board that is signed somewhere else?
uh, he'll be back for the ninth game of the season, which is what exactly? I was thinking something that's still missing from college football from like college football is um EA Sports College Football is like college game day. I think that would be really cool to add into the game at some point. Oh man. Brutal back to back weeks. Louisville and Florida State. Yikes. That would be seventh game, eighth game. So Rivers will be back for the Duke game. So that's good. Man, what does a man have to do to get in the Heisman race? Good lord. There's nothing I can do. It's going to be it for this for this episode and i will see you guys in the next one when we take on louisville for what will be a really really difficult game probably see you soon